All right. Uh, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the uh, first official Moxie Monday. Thank you all for joining us. So uh, welcome to Moxie Mondays. The, the goal of this is to once a week, every Monday, to cover a different aspect of, of Moxie, but just one or two small aspects. So um, especially when it comes to a new tool, it's really helpful to learn things in bite-sized pieces. Uh, so we're going to do that. Um, basically one or two small things for 15 to 20 minutes a week and that's it on top of the live trainings that we're doing on top of the um the other uh webinars and, and whatnot so so thank you and and just so you guys know ahead of time i am one of six hosts for this uh for this webinar series over the next few weeks uh, over the next few months honestly there are six of us that are going to be taking um, different topics. So if you don't like me, that's fine. There are five other people who will be doing the training. So today we're going to be talking about um, how to update your profile, um, your profile info, and then where that specifically feeds to on Moxie. And then I'm going to show you two very important um, and very easy website settings uh, that we're going to want to make sure uh, we we turn on. So uh, before the, the very last um, thing before we dive in is just um, please make sure you stay muted while we while we go through the, the webinar. You can type stuff in the chat or after the fact when we do some questions at the end. I'll um, you guys can unmute yourselves and ask a question. Um, other than that, we're going to dive right in. So right now I am on my profile as JD. Now in order to get here, um, I'm going in case you have not yet. Um, uh, entered Moxie. I'm, ima I'm imagining most of us who are on the call have been in Moxie before. Um, but in order to get to the sign-in screen, you're just going to go to my.schmidtresources.com. You can see it up here in my settings, my.schmidtresources.com. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to sign in. Now, your username should be your CB Great Lakes, CB Schmidt, Ohio, or um, CBSMFL, if you're in Florida, that email address. Okay, so it's your, excuse me, your Schmidt email address. Whoops, let me uh, start typing that in. So you can see jd.waldvogel at CB Great Lakes. Click next. And then your password should be, you know, whatever your password is. Um, I'm going to put my password in if I could remember it. Okay, and once we've signed in, this is where it takes us to our profile. So I want to show you guys how to update your settings uh, for your bio, and I want to show you the three big important places that that feeds. So um, basically, this is where it should take you when you log into your profile. You've got three tabs across the top here, personal info, contact info, and web info. We're going to click right here on this final tab, the web info tab. And this is going to bring up our bio, essentially, and what we can edit. Um, so all you're really going to want to do, now I, I, let me take a step back. Ideally, your ASC, um, your admin in your office before these websites launched, copied and pasted your bio over from uh, your previous CB Great Lakes profile. Now, if they didn't do that, uh, the main reason that I've heard is because you had the, the default one in there. And so there is really nothing to copy over besides the, the default profile. So this is a great time um, if you did get your 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 um, profile copied over to take a look at it, see if there's some uh, spelling mistakes. I had one person go, "Oh my gosh, there's so many mistakes in here. Where did they get this from?" And I said, "Well, they they took it from your old profile." And she, "Oh my gosh, okay, I gotta fix that." So um, you can all so you can make some edits to what you currently have. You know, update your numbers, right? Um, I've got right here, oh, actually I did update, so I've, you know, if your dog's names or ages are outdated, update that. Um, if you've been in real estate for 15 years and it says 12, make those changes. But this also gives you the opportunity to completely um, rewrite your bio if you want to. And all you're going to have to do uh, in order to edit any of this stuff is right along the top here, where it has my name and my primary office, if I follow this white bar to the right, there's a pencil right here. If I click this pencil, it's going to give me the opportunity to make all of these edits right here. So first thing you can do is you can connect your social media uh, if you want to. Uh, it doesn't have to be the first thing you do. Uh, you can connect your Facebook page, your Instagram, your Twitter, your LinkedIn if you so uh, choose. Uh, and, and if you don't, uh, and I'll say this during website stuff too, if you don't fill some of this stuff out, it's not going to be a blank box on your profile. It's just not going to show up. It's just going to be, uh, it's going to be absent. Uh, so then right up here, this is where you can edit, edit your about me. So you can have a title and you can add a paragraph there. Um, you can do bold. I mean, it's kind of like typing in Microsoft Word. Uh, and then the other thing you can do is you can go, okay, so that's my first paragraph where I talk about myself. 
Now I want to click add info. And I, after I click add info, I want to start talking about uh, my real estate career. You know, um, why choose JD, right? And I click and put a little question mark there. And then I can type a second paragraph where I can type more about the real estate part of it. So essentially, if you click add info, you can add info, whoops, about specific aspects of your life, career, skill set, etc. Maybe on this first one you want to have a bio and the second one you want to do like an accolades or something and you want to do a bullet point list or ways that you volunteer in your community or something like that. So uh, you can edit that here. And while we have that, while we're editing, the other thing we can do while we're editing is we can go to personal info, uh, make sure our name and title are the way we want it to be. Um, we can also go to contact info here. And your primary email will need to be your, your CB email. However, your display email, AKA what appears on your website, on your directory profile, et cetera, you can change that to whatever you want. So if you do not use your CB uh, Great Lakes, Schmidt, Ohio, or CBS MFL email as your main source for email, maybe you've got jdrealtor at gmail.com or whatever you use, this will be the email that is displayed to clients. So you would just edit that right here where it says display email. Um, and once we've edited that, and I'm going to go back to web info just to show that we have, um, we've, we've saved that info, or sorry, we've put that info in. All we're going to do is we're going to click save up here, right? This is important where it says edit profile along this top bar, far right button is save. So we're going to click save and our profile should be updated. Um, I'm going to stop real quick to see if we do have any questions on this part. Um, nope, perfect, awesome. So, and again, if you guys have questions, please write them into the chat as we go. I'm uh, obviously more than happy to uh, to answer those. So, uh, the next thing I want to show you guys is where those feed. Where do these updates feed? So, I've got a little document here. There are three main places where this About Me section feeds, okay? One, your bio page on your website. And I'll show you guys these in a moment. Uh, two, the present agent info slide in a, in a listing presentation through present. And then three, the directory bio on the main page for CB Great Lakes, Schmidt, Ohio, and for Florida. So I'm going to show you guys what we mean by all three of these. So um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my website, which is just my first slash, uh, first dash waldvogel.cbgreatlakes.com, first dash last um, dot cbgreatlakes.com, or if you have been with agent, you know, if you were with us before we made the transition, you can also use your CB Great Lakes or cbschmidtohio.com slash first dot last. Either of those two formats are going to work in terms of sending you to your website. So I'm on my JD website right now. Now this section right here, this is not where it feeds. This is not where my profiles feeds. This is a different section that we'll talk about another time. Um, but where it does feed, is across this top bar here. Now I, I have some additions to this, so you're, you, you won't have all of these, but under about me, you'll see where it says my bio. So I, again, I'm across my top navigation bar here, and under about me, it says my bio, and I'm gonna click on that, and it's gonna take me here. And this is where all that information feeds. You got my more about me, you can see that first paragraph that was there, and that second paragraph that was there. Okay, uh, the second one, uh, that I'm going to show you guys is if you just go to the main page, uh, cbgreatlakes.com, cbfloridahomes.com, um, or cbschmidohio.com. When you click on agents and offices, if a consumer were to click on agents and offices across this top bar. Now we are in the middle of working on this agents and offices page. We're kind of doing a redesign on it right now. Um, but if I were to click on find an agent, and just for the sake of, I don't even know if my profile is going to pop up because um, I think I have mine turned off publicly. Oh, yep, there it is. It shows up. So I'm going to make sure to turn that off. This, is, again, is that bio. This is where that would feed over. So if somebody were to search for you in the directory, uh, you basically this agents and offices tab, that would also feed right here. You got my, my paragraphs, my contact info, et cetera. And then uh, finally, there's one other place it will feed. And that is if you were to, whoop, I got all these bars. Um, if you were to, in your, uh, in your, uh, uh, Moxie admin, if you were to go to present and if you were to make a listing presentation, now I don't know if I have any tests in this account because I've been using a different one for my training, um, 
But if I were to, I'm just gonna go through a lot of stuff super, super quick just to get to a certain point. Um, so please don't worry about any of what I'm showing you guys right now. I'll just click create. When you get to the pages part of this, that's okay. Um, when you get to the pages part, this bottom page right here is agent profile. If you look on the left hand side here, and if I click on that, again, this is where my bio will pull over that we were editing earlier, right into present. So now, uh, just for a, a real quick tip, I personally think moving your agent profile toward the top of your presentation makes a lot of sense because you can start with a cover photo, then you move on to your profile, and then you get into the listing. So that's a, obviously a, a, an important side note. So I was just showing you how to click and drag, um, but this is where it'll feed. So just to go over those three places again before we move on, uh, it will feed to the My Bio tab on your website. It will feed to the Present Agent Info, or let me correct that to, to reflect what they actually call it, the Agent Profile slide in a listing presentation. And then finally, it will uh, go to the Directory Bio on the main page if somebody were to search for you under Agents and Offices. Any questions on that real quick, guys, before we move on to the last couple things we gotta go over? Um, and these, these last two things will be super quick. Um, no questions coming in. Okay, so we're gonna move on, but again, there's, there, it's not too late ever to ask a question. So the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a couple really important um, uh, changes or, or we're gonna double check a couple really important things for our agent websites, okay? So uh, while I'm here, I'm gonna go back to just home right here, and I'm hoping that uh, this, that might've been the incorrect link, and I'm, a, yeah. Uh, so I'm actually just gonna go back to my.schmidtresources.com. It's gonna bring me here. Now we need to go to our website admin portal. There are a bunch of ways to do this. There are three different ways. I'm gonna show you the easiest way to access that right now, is right along this top bar, again, it says present, engage, my website. We're gonna click on my website, okay? And that's gonna take us to the back end of our website where we would make changes to our, pro, um, to our website pages, ad pages, ad testimonials, all of that stuff. We're not gonna go over that right now. We're just gonna go over two um, very important things. Um, so, and I wanna make sure I, I bring us to the, uh, the right place. I think it's right here. So we're gonna click on this and double check. So on the left-hand bar right here, you can see all of these options. The only thing I want you guys to worry about right now is uh, clicking on settings, okay? Just click on the word that says settings. Um, so after we click on settings on the left-hand side over here, we're gonna click on this very last option, SSL. So click on SSL, and what SSL is going to do is this is basically a security setting. You wanna make sure that SSL is enabled for your site. You can see right here for me, it is not. There is a red check, but we have one on our company site, which is what this green check, or green uh, red X, green check. You, what you're gonna to wanna to do is click this big blue button that says, go ahead, activate SSL. Uh, it, it, might have to, it might ask you to log in again after you do that. Um, not a big deal, obviously, go ahead and do that. But it is imperative that we do check this from a security standpoint so that when people access your site, it is um, secure from a, from a back-end site. You just go to the home screen, JD. You can click, click on it from right here, too. There. Yeah, okay. I'll do it from here, then. Um, so there's one other thing we have to do right under here where it says complete your site activation. We're going to click this very top option make your site visible to search engines. Then we're gonna click where it says go there, okay? Now this should have theoretically been set up for you. Um, reading settings, that's the one I was looking for. Uh, this should be set up for you, but basically this box right here, do you see where it says um, search engine visibility? We want to uncheck that box. You want to make sure that that is unchecked and that you click save changes. Because if it's unchecked, your profile will feed to Google and Bing and Yahoo and all those search engines. But if it is checked, it will not feed to those profile to, to those sites. Obviously, we all want our profiles to be visible on um, on Google and stuff like that. So please make sure you go in and you uncheck that box. And uh, as Nicole was saying, if you look across the top here, it also tells you search engines blocked. So you can click on that and it'll bring you here as well. So make sure you uncheck that box so it is blank, and then you click save changes. It, won't, it will not save unless you click save changes, okay? So um, just to go over that again, uh, we're gonna click the search engine block. Yes, I know I didn't save it. 
uh, and it's going to bring us here and we're going to make sure we uncheck this box for search engine visibility and then the other thing we're, go we're going to want to do under settings is go to the very last option where it says SSL click on SSL and we're going to make sure that we click this big blue box go ahead activate SSL